Hi guys, welcome to Medical Mega Mind channel. In this video, I am going to discuss the rotation of gut or the rotation of mid gut. Both are same. But before going to the actual video, you should know some basics. See this diagram. This is placenta, this is umbilical cord, and this is developing embryo. This whole developing gut is divided into three parts the foregut, mid gut, and hind gut. But in the early stage of development, the midgut projects or herniates into the umbilical cord as shown in the diagram, like this. Okay, next, this is the dorsal iota and it gives many branches but during the course of development, many of them regress but only three remains permanent. One, this is the celiac artery which supplies the abdominal part of foregut and this is the superior mesenteric artery which supplies the midgut and finally this is the inferior mesenteric artery which supplies the hindgut this is how the midgut herniates into the umbilical cord this hole is the opening to the umbilical cord in this figure the area present behind the brown colored region is inside of the embryo and area present in front of the brown colored region is the outside of the embryo okay the area facing you is the outside of the embryo this is the superior mesenteric artery which is a branch of dorsal aorta and it supplies the mid gut the area present above the superior mesenteric artery is the pre arterial segment of the mid gut and the area present below the superior mesenteric artery is the post arterial segment of the mid gut while discussing the rotation of gut the superior mesenteric artery is chosen as the axis for the rotation of mid gut okay with respect to this artery only i am going to discuss the rotation of gut now the mid gut is outside the embryo but it has to go inside the embryo okay the process is called retraction of mid gut during this retraction process the mid gut undergoes a rotation of 270 degree okay in the anti clockwise direction or counter clockwise direction this retraction of mid gut occurs because the abdominal cavity will increase in size and also the mesonephric kidneys will degenerate because in humans only metanephric kidneys are permanent. There are three stages of rotation. In the first stage, there is rotation of about 90 degree. Okay. Now, pre-arterial segment lies in the right side of the post-arterial segment. Previously, the midgut was in the sagittal plane. Now it will undergo 90 degree rotation in the anti clockwise direction. So the position is like this. It will now lie in the uh, horizontal plane like this. In the second stage of rotation, pre arterial segment grows in length and become convoluted. Due to degeneration of mesonephric kidneys and increase in abdominal cavity size, more space is created. So, mesonephric segment goes inside the embryo. Now, pre-arterial segment rotates 90 degree in anti-clockwise direction. Now, see these diagrams. Previously, the pre-arterial segment was straight. Now, it grows in length and become highly convoluted as shown in the figure as i said the abdominal cavity size will increase and also mesonephric kidneys will degenerate so more space is created now what happens is the midgut goes inside the embryo and rotates 90 degree in anti clockwise direction previously it was convoluted in sagittal section okay now it become rotated to lie in the horizontal plane. In the third stage of rotation, the post arterial segment will now go inside the embryo and 
it also rotates 90 degree in anti clockwise direction observe these two diagrams previously the post arterial segment was outside but pre arterial segment was inside now what happens is the post arterial segment will also go inside the embryo see here this post arterial segment will undergo 90 degree rotation in anti clockwise direction as well as it moves inside the embryo okay this is the final structure so 90 plus 90 plus 90 totally the midgut undergo 270 degree rotation in the anti clockwise direction